Good evening, YouTubers. The new Time Travel Jaime 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. Tonight, we're going to look at Doctor Who, the Claws of Axos Special Edition. I tell you, this is a brilliant four-part adventure. This is going to be the one of my top of the list of this favorite classic Doctor Who series adventures. This... Review is requested by Andre Grindle. Thank you very much for requesting this episode. This four-part adventure was originally transmitted on March 13th through April 3rd, 1971. Wow. Here it began with the plot. The plot begins the axon... Land on Earth desperately need a fuel. They propose to exchange miracle substance they call axonite for some much need energy. Axonite is a thinking molecule that can replicate any substance, or so they claim. As it turns out, the ship is a single organism called Axos, whose purpose is to feed itself by draining all energy. Through the axonite, which is just part of itself, including the energy of every life form on Earth. The deception about the axonite beneficial property was to facilitate the disturbance of axonite across the globe. Meanwhile, the master who was captured by axos used his knowledge of Earth as a bargaining chip. For his life and freedom, escape the axles and make his way to the doctor's TARDIS, his own having been seized by Axel, his plans to repair it to escape from Earth. Axel's itself become interesting in the doctor's knowledge of time travel. It now plans to broaden its feeding base by traveling through time as well as space. The doctor realized this plan to trick Axel into the linking up to his drive unit and to his, his TARDIS. So he can send the Axels into the paternal, per, paternal time loop. After tricking the master into completing the repairs of his TARDIS, the doctor just the doctor does just that. This the result in every part of Axos, dematerializing from Earth, including the Axon, Automatic, and the Axonite. At the end, the Master have escaped his own TARDIS. During his confused aboard, the Doctor returns to Earth, but not of his own violation. Violating, the Time Lord has programmed the TARDIS to always return to Earth. The Doctor stated, that he is a cosmic yo-yo. Before that, a doctor named Bill, working with Bill Fire, he helping him to talking about the accident to how he got kidnapped. Fortunately, the master tells him, "You must obey me," and he says, "Go to Blue Blazes." As the professor told me, recording to Bill about the secrets of axonite and the use of the bubbly substance, substance. And the doctor experimenting. Oh, look what you've done. What are you doing here? Why, you stupid quack. The doctor tell him, no, don't touch it. But he is disintegrated and dissolved and turns into the, the rubber axon. Boy, but, uh, and here comes the axon, looks like a monster creature inside, too. The doctor, in the unit soldier trying to shoot the, the all three monster-like things, I forgot what it is, they're trying to stop the peace of Earth. By managing that, the doctor is using brainwash to hit knowledge of the Time Lord's path. Luke, for the thousand years, I don't know how to time. 
and the doctor is being tortured by the Axum people and facing George and Joe changing Joe Grant's appearances to a middle aged an older version of Joe Grant. The doctor says no. It, he will surrender and they change her back to her look of herself. The Claws of Axos, great four part adventure. I really love it. And let's get on to the DVD features. Let me read the description. When a dangerous ship containing a beautiful humanoid creature called Axon lands on Earth, the Doctor and Joe and Unit are sent to investigate and return for the help. The Axon offers the gift of Axonite, which would end up world fame. It all appears too good to be true. So what secrets are the Axon hidden aboard their ship, and why is the Doctor's old enemy the Master involved? Here's the still pictures from the story. We have audio commentaries by actor Katie Manning and Richard Franklin and producer Barry Letts. Axon Stesh Station. Now and then, directing Who? Studio recording, the earliest surviving Doctor Who recording with studio chatter and recording breaks and VT run-ups. Living with Levine, Photo gallery, deleted and extended scenes, and so forth. Here's Dix 1, and here's Dix 2. Now, episode 2 and 3 were destroyed in the BBC archive that leaves episodes 2 and 3 as a 16mm black and white film recording. But in 1984, a Canadian television has a complete color copies of the second and third episodes converted back to the BBC into the PAL mode called Reverse Standard Conversion. Wow. Unfortunately, the documentary Reverse Standard Conversion will not be included in the special edition DVD. Well, that's it for me here, and if you have a requested Doctor Who you want me to review, post it on my comment, I'll be happy to do so. That's it from here, this is the new Time Travel High Me 88 saying so long.